Okay, so these are going to be some really nice um, biscuits, but they're going to be like biscuit balls. And you could have them for breakfast or you could have them as a little snack. So what I've got is a tray and I've put some um, paper on there and I've put my oven on. I've got half a banana, which is 50 grams, and I'm going to mush that into my bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add 12 grams of currants. And 40 grams of oats. Vanilla. And a little shake of cinnamon. And then I'm going to mix that together. Until it becomes like a um, a bit like a paste. So you keep mixing, combining all the ingredients together. But you want it to be um, a little bit moist. So that you can then work it into balls. Or you can do biscuit shape if you want, if you prefer. And then, once you've got it to the right consistency, which is about that, do you need to, you could either get a little mini um, scooper, you like an ice cream scoop thing, or you can get your spoon. Oh, you can't see, can you? Up there. What I'm going to do is get a spoonful, a good, a good spoonful, and then I'm just going to roll that gently in my hand and put it on there. Can you see the size that I'm doing? They're not huge, they're just sort of nice little bite size, and I'm going to do that with the remaining of the mixture. I've got my, I can't remember what I said, I've got my oven on, I've got it on 200. Now these should be done in 15 minutes. So I'm not sure how many I'm going to get, there's three. So I, I might get nine out of this. So if you didn't like um, currants, then you could put a few chocolate chips in there. I mean obviously you, you're going to have to sin those. Um, I did work out the sin value for the banana, a 50 gram banana um, is, um, oh, what did I say, it was two, two sins and for 12 grams of currants it's one and a half sins, so it's three and a half sins for seven of these looks like how many I've got out of there. got a little bit more, I'm just going to add that to that. So I'm going to pop these in the oven. I'm just going to give them a little squish down. I don't think they're going to spread that much, but that would just help, I think, with a bit more of an even um, cooking. I'll just wipe my hands. There we go. So that's what they look like. I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to check them after 12 minutes because I've got quite a hot oven and um, see if they need a little bit longer. So they're on the top shelf and um, I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so they're out of the oven. Um, they actually only took eight minutes and I think that's because I did such tiny little balls. So I'm just going to cut one in half and you can smell the banana actually and it's still, sorry, it's still quite Oh, it's hot. 
it's still quite gooey inside so it's not gone dry or anything it's it's nice and gooey inside um, show you the other half it's all nice and squidgy um, so you could have all seven of these and you could have them sort of through through the morning um, for breakfast you could warm them up in the microwave and um, take them to work like that you could add a bit of yogurt to them um, maybe and um, a bit of sliced banana uh, not banana sorry a bit of sliced apple um, might be quite nice with a sprinkling of um, cinnamon on top um, so yeah it's just something a little bit different that's all um, so like I said all seven um, if you're using the oats as your um, B then you can have them three and a half sins um, otherwise you would have to sin the oats as well um, and there's 40, 40 grams that I used in here okay so um, I'll have a little taste oh they're nice I like those really banana-y um, just a hint of cinnamon which is nice because I don't like it too too strong um, yeah and the um, currants just give it a little bit of a a bite to it if you if you know what I mean really nice yeah I'll do those again <laughs> anyway if you fancy doing these or if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe and I'll see you next time bye